My thoughts and my feelings and my opinions are heard the most when I'm in women-occupied spaces. I would say that I'm the most scared to voice how I feel or what I think or what I want to stop when I'm in a space with angry men or drunk men or misinformed men. I think that then you become the target, and I experienced a lot of this growing up, um, a lot of seeing and hearing violent men against women and it was the scary decision whether I speak up and stop it and become the target or if I make myself sit through that and watch it a way that I've been able to take back a little bit of that power and feelings of helplessness is in the school that I work in I'm in a middle school and under resource under served middle school and a lot of my boys just pick and nag and hit and drag and slap each other which is a problem but even bigger than that and harder than that is when they do it to the girls and when they're slapping the girls butts and when they're grabbing the girls arms and grabbing them around their waist um I've started yelling at them and screaming down the hallway did you ask her if you could do that and it's just one small thing I've tried to combat all the violence it's growing into a lot of the times they don't even realize that what they're doing is violent or it's wrong or it's inappropriate um because they see everybody else do it and that was me growing up the only way I knew what I was experiencing was wrong was because my friends weren't doing it at school but their friends are doing it at school and so I try and use my one voice to help those boys realize that they are in control of their actions and help the girls realize that they're allowed to ask them to stop.